Oh, I was, oh my gosh. You know, like when your internet's slow and it does that like spiral thing and it just goes like this and it's like spinning. That's like my kryptonite. I mean, it brings me to my knees. I wish it just like would work or not work or work or not work. Just cut, just like get me out of my misery. Okay. Hey, <laughs> I'm making this video so I can show my new hairstyle. Um, it looks like I stuck my hand in like an electrical socket, but I did Pilates. So in Pilates today, I'm talking to this, <laughs> can't even, I'm talking to this lady and I asked her, she said that she loves cold weather. And once I got over the fact that she was crazy, cause who loves cold weather? I thought, oh, okay, well, why do you live? I was like, why do you live in Texas if you love cold weather? Because Texas is so hot. And she said her job. And, I'm, and I was like, well, do you think you'll always live in Texas? She's like, oh, my gosh, I would love to move to Colorado. I'm like, yeah, dude, y'all, Colorado is the bomb. I was like, well, why don't you just move to Colorado then? And she's like, I, I just, I can't. I can't because of my job. And I was like, well, what's your job? And she said it was something really fancy. I mean, it was something fancy that I can't even regurgitate. Something with computers. And I was just like, wow, that sounds really smart. And then she was like... <laughs> She was like, what do you do? And I was like, well, I chill mainly. Um, and then I told her, you know, that's some stuff I'm working on. But I was like laughing because when she asked what I did, I was like, I chill. But I do chill. Like I have to keep my stress levels really low. So, you know, I'm just like a professional chiller and relaxer. I like study relaxation. But <clears throat> where I'm going with this is it's like, she won't move to Colorado because of her job, but she loves cold weather and it's not, it's not whatever. And she didn't even say she loved her job. She said she liked it. And somewhere along the way in our life, all of us do this. We, we become so certain we can't do something that would make us happy for like some reason that doesn't make sense. She likes her job. But she could find a job in Colorado where she really wants to go that maybe even she liked better. But somehow we get in this little box where we think that that's not an option. This also happened to me. Like when I was 28, I went gallivanting. Is that a, is that a word? I went traveling all over the world, um, whatever. But it started because I went to Brazil on my one week of vacation. And I met this dude and he had been traveling through South America. He was super hot. And he was traveling through South America for like six months. And he was telling me this story. And I'm just like listening to his every word. And I was just like there on my one week vacation from my super corporate job that I made good money at in Dallas, Texas. And I, he's telling me this story. And I was like, oh my gosh, I would love to do that. Like, I wish I could do that. And he looks at me in all seriousness and he's like, well, why can't you? And like, it just never occurred to me that I could do that. I mean, it just, I like no one told me I couldn't. I, nothing was really stopping me. I mean, I had a great job that I liked a lot. Had a great group of friends in Dallas, Texas. I was from Texas, but I was just like, oh my gosh. Like him saying that to me changed my life because it gave me a new perspective of like, well, technically I could like, it put me out of my box. It stepped over this invisible boundary. And, you know, it's just like you really can do anything. And there's going to be problems and objections to things like you like your job. But that doesn't mean you can't do something else. It's just like a, a something to solve, like something in the way, like a, a oh, obstacle. <laughs> That's the word I'm looking for. It's an obstacle, but it's like, ultimately, like if you have this dream life of something that you want to do and you say you can't, the thing is you can, there's just obstacles in the way. And that becomes, that's where you just need to start problem solving, but it's super empowering, like empowering to decide to actually go for your dream, to actually decide it's possible. To like get it, get out of this space of I can't to either I can, but I don't want to because I actually like what I'm doing better. And that, um, 
but anyways, it's just like, we're all, we're all just like one perspective away from a completely different life. Like even, even stupid, not stupid perspectives, but it's like someone can think like, oh my gosh, like my body sucks. So I'm never going to get into a bikini or a bathing suit. And, or like, oh, I can't date anybody until this, or I can't be happy until I lose weight. And it's like, you have this perspective this belief that you can't do something until this, or you can't do something because you're something. If you just get, if you just like get out of that box and like switch that perspective and you're like, is it possible that maybe I'm not that, or maybe I do deserve this, or maybe I actually can do that. Like, why do I think I can't? Or like, maybe I can be happy now. And once I get to my goal, Like, it's okay to be happy at each. Like, why do I think I'm not allowed to be happy now? Um, Anyways, we're just like, we're one perspective away. Seriously, one perspective away from a whole different life. Like, the guy that thinks he can't date a girl because of, I don't know, he thinks he's ugly. It's like, if he just changed his thinking of him being ugly, like, his whole world would change. Same with a girl. Like, if she thinks she's fat or disabled or, 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 or if you just change your perspective on that, like life just will be completely different. So anyways, it's just like being, you can't fix something you're not aware of. And it's like just being aware of these limiting beliefs, expectations, rules, um, obstacles, like these things that we think mean we can't do something and just change that perspective of like, maybe the opposite is true, or maybe I actually can do that thing I'm dying to do. And this reason I think I can't, it's just an obstacle, not a wall, not a, not a total can't. I don't know if I said that smoothly, but that's what I've got tonight. All right, bye. Go be happy.